Well, we begin with the breaking news. The eyes of the world are on the Russian city of Sochi and the Winter Olympic Games. But growing fear of terrorism is certainly looming over the competition. As we learn, the U.S. is investigating now multiple plots against the games, including the latest involving explosives hidden inside toothpaste and cosmetic tubes. Our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shudo, is joining us now. Jim, you're learning about new action that is now being taken to try to counter some of these plots. That's right. This is the first, first security measure in response to the revelation of a new threat of bringing explosives onto airliners contained in toothpaste tubes. And it came within 24 hours of this threat first being revealed to the public. This is what we're learning right now from the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration. They have directed that no liquids, gels, aerosols, and powders of any size be permitted on flights from the U.S. to Russia. This particular measure directed just at flights from the U.S. to Russia. So something unusual here that this check will take place at the gate of those flights rather than at the TSA checkpoints that serves many flights around the world and around the country. So different from the 2006 liquid bomb plot when all liquids were banned on all flights in the U.S. Additionally, we're told by the TSA that people traveling to the Russian Federation will need to personally check in at airline desks, including Delta, they won't be able to use online check-in. These measures showing how seriously U.S. security officials are taking uh, this particular threat. I am told that U.S. authorities are now tracking a number of terror threats related to the Olympics, and they're taking them all seriously, but the threats have varying degrees of credibility. The urgent challenge right now, assessing whether the threats are purely in the planning stages or something that the attackers have the means to carry out. CNN has learned U.S. authorities are working with Russia and other countries tonight to try to disrupt several plots related to the Olympics. Beyond the toothpaste tube terror threat, it sparked a warning to airlines flying to the games. Uh, there are some very specific threat leads that we have, uh, but at the same time, it's difficult to ascertain whether these are aspirational, uh, whether this is what the terrorists would like to do, or whether this is operational, whether they've actually put this into effect whether they have the means of carrying this out. U.S. officials are concerned the intelligence regarding the threat of attackers using toothpaste or cosmetic tubes to hide explosives originated from the group led by this man, Doku Amara, who leads Chechen terrorists who have publicly threatened the game. The plot itself um, originated from uh, the leader uh, of the Chechen rebel extremists, uh, Umarov. Uh, that's where this plot actually hatched out of. While U.S. officials have increasing confidence about security inside the Olympic venue, transportation hubs leading to the games, including planes, trains, and automobiles, are still seen as softer targets and more vulnerable. Today, Russia's deputy prime minister insisted Sochi is safe. I would like to repeat once again that the level of security in the city of Sochi is not worse than New York, London, Washington, or Boston. That is little reassurance to some. Chechen terrorists have struck in the air before. Black Widow bombers are believed to have brought down two jets in Russia in 2004. However, the intense security focus by Russian and international authorities now may make it more difficult for a similar plot to succeed again. I can't think of a case where there's been a serious warning in, um, publicly and then something actually happened. None leap to mind. Concern about the to toothpaste threat led French officials to arrest two Chechen women this week in France. They, however, found no evidence the women were a threat or had plans to travel to Russia. There are, however, continuing concerns about intelligence cooperation with the Russians' wolf. And what I'm told is that when it comes to threats outside of Russia, there's pretty good cooperation. But inside Russia, that's where U.S. officials have serious concerns about whether the Russians share everything that they know. And, of course, with the Olympics inside Russia, creates a major concern for Americans traveling. Yeah, I know they're also, very, it's in addition to the so-called toothpaste bomb, they're worried about suicide bombers going after softer targets, maybe not in that so-called ring of steel, but outside to, to embarrass Putin, if you will. Exactly. I mean, you, you have a situation where any attack around Russia during the Olympics would, would in effect, be an embarrassment. So that shows the, 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 the seriousness here and the difficulty of tamping down all these threats. One source telling me, uh, quote, we'd be very lucky to get through this without an attack. Uh, so it's obviously a source of grave concern. Jim Shudo, thanks very much.